What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I have a request from Marco, who is a viewer uh, of my channel. And his request was to do an exit hotkey for Hyper Arcade. Um, now he did find a way to exit MAME, um, but if you have the Pinball FX2 Hyper Arcade add-on pack, um, then you'll it won't be a unified exit hotkey for every emulator. So he's found a way that works for him, and that's great. Uh, the other request he had was to use his trackball within Hyper Arcade. Uh, he has an X Arcade tank stick. So I've ordered my X Arcade tank stick, and uh, I will be getting it uh, fairly soon, I hope. <laughs> um, and basically, I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is without having my arcade uh, tank stick. So I'm going to show you uh, what you can try, Marco, and you can go from there. But first, I'm going to show everybody about the exit hotkey. Uh, within Hyper Arcade. So first thing we're going to want to do is go into your Hyper Arcade folder and we're going to go into Rocket Launcher Rocket Launcher UI and we're going to launch Rocket Launcher UI the application file right here. And this is really easy to do. You can set it to uh, anything you want. I have three different settings, uh, two for two different controllers, and I believe one is keyboard. I can't wait for one day to have a faster computer. Okay, so on the main screen, make sure on the left side we've highlighted global and hit the settings green gear here and under main settings if we look under controls we have exit emulator key so you see the keyboard button here go ahead and click that and now I have oh I have two set up so I'm gonna just delete this one here so you'll have one right now so you can choose to edit it or you can add another so I'm just gonna add another one so I'll add one and then right here, it's going to capture your hotkey. So I use start and select, but if you're using um, an arcade stick, you can set it to one button, you can set it to two buttons, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want to set it to. Um, you're just going to click capture. And then I'm going to press start and select. You use whatever buttons you want. So now that that's captured, I'm going to click save. Okay, so now it's saved, it's over here. That's my start and select. And you can set a hold time, uh, time between presses. You can do a whole bunch of stuff if you want. So what I'm gonna do now is close this out and close out Rocket Launcher. Now we're gonna launch Hyper Arcade. I'm just gonna mute. So I will launch an arcade game. So let's say Tech and Tag Tournament. And I'm not going to let it load all the way through. I'll let it boot up a little bit here. And then I'm going to hit my exit hotkey that I just set in Rocket Launcher. I'll just show you the game is running here and then I'm gonna hit my exit hockey and you're back to hyper arcade so um, basically the, the good thing about this setting is you can do it for any controller and now you know how to do it or if you use an arcade stick or if you want to set it to a keyboard button uh, anything of your choosing um, and I'll show you for pinball FX2 if you guys uh, installed that add-on pack, uh, which I would suggest doing, and there will be a link to that video um, at the end of this video. Pinball FX2 is really cool. Um, one of my favorite tables is the Wild West Rampage.
I really, really like this. Really nice. So I'm going to use my exit hotkey. And you're going to get this caution angry gamer uh, screen. But that, that's just a fade out screen. Now we're back in Hyper Arcade. No problems. So that's how we set our exit hotkeys uh, within Hyper Arcade. And next thing I want to show is to get your trackball working uh, within MAME. So first thing we're going to do is go into our Hyper Arcade folder, Emulators, MAME, and we're going to launch MAME. So MAME64, uh, unless you have the 32-bit version, it'll just be MAME, but it is the application file. Configure options, double click on that. Device mapping, double click. And you can see here, trackball device assignment is set to keyboard. I didn't have a trackball when I designed this, so I just left it stock. So you can just click it once, highlight it yellow, and I use the arrow key right now on my, on my keyboard to switch it to mouse. So then we'll double click return to previous menu. Save configuration, double click. Configuration saved. Return to previous menu. And I'm going to try and launch a trackball game here. So, oops. So, Simpsons Bowling. That's a trackball game. And this game does take a little bit to boot. I probably should have chosen something else, but uh, just want to show you that it's working. And I'm going to be using nothing but my mouse, uh, except for inserting coins and stuff like that. I'll just have to use my keyboard uh, to insert the coins and stuff. Now, I am theoretically <laughs> saying that the trackball on the XRK tank stick will work because it is a mouse in Windows and Marco did say he has it working as a mouse so this would make me believe that it's going to work uh, within MAME as well setting that setting to mouse as opposed to keyboard so I'm just moving my mouse right now and there we go and I'm moving it around there you go it's not giving me an option for Oh, one more credit for four players. There we go. So now I could do whatever I want. One player game, standard bowling. Uh, I'll just do easy controls and pick my player. And I'm just moving my mouse right now. So we'll go ahead and beat Bart. So I'll move my mouse, setting my curve, press the button, position my player, and roll forward. Well, that was a horrible spin. But hopefully now the trackball is working in Hyper Arcade. And if we want to exit back to Hyper Arcade out of the game, we'll hit the hotkey that we set previously in the video and we should be good to go. Sorry guys, we are in MAME that time, so that's why my exit hockey wasn't working. We were not in Hyper Arcade. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes, what can you do? Uh, so hopefully your hotkeys are set, you guys figured that out. I hope this works for you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, same YouTube stuff as always, please like and subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. Um, the, the channel is continuing to grow and I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, Marco, thanks for the question. I hope this helps you. I hope your XRK tank stick is all set up. And uh, when I get mine, I'll definitely be doing a review video. Um, and I know there's some out there on YouTube already. Uh, I want to go in depth as possible on, on the exact feeling and uh, give you guys some, uh, you know, 360 degree looks of it and make sure that... Uh, if you're interested in one, that I can give you as much information as possible on the XRK tank stick. From all the research I've done, it seems like uh, a top-notch uh, arcade stick. Some people have replaced the buttons or the joysticks. More so the joysticks I've heard with uh, like IL Euro sticks. 
Um, and I, I potentially may do that in the future just to at least try it out and see uh, which I prefer. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.